Claire Duff. I'm leader of the Irish Baroque Orchestra and I'm delighted to be playing in this year's RD Baroque Festival, albeit online this year. Um, IBO loves coming back to RD every year and there's always a very warm reception from the audience. So um, we're missing not having you with us uh, when we're playing, but we hope you enjoy the concert from your home. Hello, I'm Sarah McMahon and I play the cello with the Irish Baroque Orchestra and we are thrilled to be back here in RD for this online festival in 2020. Um, we've been coming here since the start, since 2004, and um, we've always had such a wonderful time at this festival. Um, this year we're actually going to venture into uh, Beethoven. So I uh, normally play on a Baroque bow and, and the orchestra specialises with period instruments. So this is a Baroque bow that I'll be playing my Bach on. But for Beethoven I'll be playing on a classical bow which has a slightly uh, heavier tip. So um, this, you might notice the difference in the style of our playing between Beethoven and Bach and also the sound. And um, we will play on gut strings for both um, programs. Uh, we're delighted to have Finian Collins join us for the Beethoven program. Uh, and I'll be playing with Sarah McMahon and we'll be doing some Be a Beethoven trio and I'll also be doing a Beethoven sonata. This year's programme is obviously a bit different because it's online, um, but it's wonderful that we could honour Beethoven's anniversary year with this chamber music programme with Finneen Collins, Claire Duff and myself. And Finneen are playing a trio and we've borrowed a wonderful forte piano for this particular uh, event. And so it's, it's uh, very exciting for us to play with this instrument because it brings alive the sound world of Beethoven. So we're playing a trio that is often played actually also um, with clarinet, but this time it's violin, cello and piano, and I'm playing a sonata, uh, Beethoven's first sonata for piano and cello, in fact. Um, I think the piano has the starring role in this piece, but it's great fun to play together. Um, for you. And then the other programme is a programme of unaccompanied Bach and I'll be playing the second suite by Bach in D minor and this is really a very special suite I think. I think the key of D minor is um, particularly dark and sonorous on the cello and um, I think the whole suite is really imbued with this very um, exploratory and um, expressive personal voice. Um, Bach is so inventive in writing for solo instruments and you can hear in many of these movements the polyphonic writing so he often introduces bass lines underneath the melodic writing um, so uh, it's very challenging. I would imagine musicians around the world turned to solo Bach when lockdown happened because suddenly musicians weren't able to play with anybody else and we had the Bach uh, solo sonatas and partitas to play in our bedrooms um, to keep us company and uh, now we're going to be able to play them in a concert and enjoy the fact that there's yes amazing part writing that even though it's one instrument on its own it's like you're playing duets sometimes or trios um, within the one instrument. Uh, myself and Sarah are also going to play a, a little bit together uh, where we are playing Bach two-part inventions which are normally for harpsichord but we're going to play them um, with me playing the right hand part and Sarah playing the left hand part which is uh, a lot of fun.